seasons. Earth's rotation. The Earth rotates on its axis. This axis is an imaginary vertical line around which Earth spins. So every 24 or 23 hours, the Earth rotates on its axis. One day on Earth is one rotation of the Earth. One day on Earth is when our side of the Earth faces the Sun. And night on Earth is when the side of Earth we are on faces away from the Sun. Earth's revolution. It takes the Earth 365.25 days or rotation to travel or revolve around the sun's months. So this is called a year. Okay. Rotation means to spin on an axis. Okay. Revolution means the motion of a body around another body. And orbit, the path that is followed around another body in space. Why do we have seasons? The Earth's orbit around the Sun is not a perfect circle. It is an ellipse. Seasons are not caused by how close the Earth is to the Sun. In fact, the Earth is the closest to the Sun around January 3 and farthest away from the Sun around July 4. Seasons are the result of the tilt of the Earth's axis. Earth's axis is tilted 23.5 degrees. This tilting is why we have seasons like fall, winter, spring, and summer. So the number of daylight hours is greater for the hemisphere or half of the Earth that is tilted toward the sun. Summer is warmer than winter in each hemisphere because the sun rays hit the Earth at a more direct angle during summer than during winter. Also, the days are much longer than the nights during the summer. So, during the winter, the sun rays hit the earth at an extreme angle and the days are very short. So, these effects are due to the tilt of the earth's axis. Solstices occur twice a year. So when the tilt of the Earth's axis is oriented at its extremes, tilted the farthest or closest. Winter solstice is the shortest day of the year. In the Northern Hemisphere, it occurs on December 21 or 22 and marks the beginning of winter. And the summer solstice is the longest day of the year. It occurs on June 20 or 21 and marks the beginning of summer. Equinoxes means a day lasts 12 hours and a night lasts 12 hours at all latitudes. Equinox literally means equal night. So sunlight strikes the earth most directly at the equator. So this occurs twice a year. Okay, this is how the Earth revolves around the Sun and each revolution of the Earth around the Sun has its own um, different seasons. It means sa bawat ikot ng Earth's ating Sun, nakikreate siya ng different season. Depende po yan sa buwan o depende din sa tilting ng access nito. Kaya yung ibang bansa, they can experience winter, ang iba din, summer, and then some countries experience autumn, and vice versa. Okay? Take note, Philippines has only two seasons, which is the wet season and the dry season. In other words, 
we can experience summer and rainy season. Now let's move to the solar and lunar eclipses. What is an eclipse? An eclipse occurs anytime something passes in the front of the sun or blocking its light. So this can be the earth or the moon. So that is eclipse. Is there more than one kind of eclipse? Yes, there are lunar and solar eclipses. When we say lunar eclipse, when the earth casts a shadow on the moon causing the moon to go dark. So earth comes between the sun and the moon and casts a shadow on the moon. So full moon. So solar eclipse when the moon casts a shadow on the earth causing the sun to go dark. So the moon comes between the sun and earth and casts a shadow on part of earth or a new moon. Lunar eclipse is the earth moves toward the sun and the moon blocking the sun's light and causing the moon to glow red. So this is the position of the heavenly bodies during lunar eclipse. So there is the sun, moon, I, um, earth, and moon. Always remember during lunar eclipse, the earth is in between the two heavenly bodies which is the sun and the moon okay in this straight line position we call this lunar eclipses so the darker shadow we called it umbra and the lighter shadow we called it penumbra umbra the dark inner portion of the shadow cone and penumbra the lighter outer portion of the shadow there are two types or there are types of lunar eclipses first we have total lunar eclipse the partial lunar eclipse and the penumbra lunar eclipse the total lunar eclipse is when the moon passes completely into the umbra or total sh or total shadow of the earth while partial lunar eclipse occur when the moon does not fully move into the umbra and the penumbra lunar eclipse when the moon passes only through the penumbra or partial shadow so they are barely visible so this is how it looks like the total lunar eclipse okay ito po yung nasa ginba itong apogee okay this is how it looks like the total lunar eclipse when the moon passes completely into the umbra or total shadow of the earth this image was taken on march 3 2007 Partial lunar eclipse occur when the moon does not fully move into the umbra. Okay, this is how it looks like the uh, partial lunar eclipse. And then we also have penumbra lunar eclipse. So when the moon passes only through the penumbra or partial shadow, they are barely visible. Okay, ganyan pong itsura ng penumbra lunar eclipse. Always remember that penumbral or lunar eclipse happen during night time. Okay, let's move now to the types of solar eclipses. There are three types of solar eclipses. The total solar eclipse, the partial solar eclipse, and the annular eclipse. When we say total solar eclipse can only occur if you are at the exact spot within the moon's umbra, which isn't very big. So partial solar eclipse visible is you are in the penumbra of the shadow, only some of the moon will be shadowed. While annular eclipse, it occurs when the moon is farthest from the earth in its orbit. This makes the moon look smaller. So during the eclipse, you see an outer ring of light from the sun. This is how, oh, this is the image of total solar eclipse can only occur if you are at the exact spot within the moon's umbra. And then we have partial solar eclipse visible if you are in the penumbra of the shadow. Only some of the moon will be shadowed. Okay. And then annular eclipse occurs when the moon is farthest from the earth in its orbit. This makes the moon look smaller. So during the eclipse, you see an outer ring of the light from the sun. How do often or how often do eclipses happen? 
that depends. So lunar eclipses happen more often than solar eclipses. Why? Well, everyone who is experiencing nighttime during a lunar eclipse can see it, but you have to be at the exact spot on Earth to see a solar eclipse. The spot on Earth is so small, so that the same place only sees a solar eclipse every 350 years. Why don't we see lunar eclipses more often? Well, lunar eclipses don't happen every day because the moon's orbit is tilted. Okay, tignan nyo po ang moon orbit. Ito ang moon orbit, this one, is tilted. Okay, so during most months, the moon is above or below the earth. So sometimes this moon ay nandito po sa gitna, sometimes nandito po sa gilid. Ibig sabihin, yung orbit ng moon ay ellip o elliptical. Ibig sabihin, they can move around or they can revolve around the Earth. Okay, eclipse season. Okay, Psi CG, the times where the moon and Earth and the sun line up perfectly for an eclipse. If the eclipse like lunar and solar line perfectly, ang tawag po natin ay size CG.